this is Captain Chaudhary. Let us try and learn the application of rule number two. Let us say that there is a tank whose bulkhead is in this particular shape and uh, say the bulkhead is 9 meter high right and it extends sideways from the center line and the width at different levels are as follows. Say for example, this is 4 meters, this is 7 meters, this is 9 meters and this is 8 meters. There are 4 ordinates right? and 3 segments. Number of segments is divisible by 3. So we are able to use rule number 2. Rule number 2 as you know is 1, 3, 3, 1 rule. And the height of bulkhead being 9 meters, the uniform separation between the ordinates is 3 meters. So in this question, H will be equal to 3. Bulkhead is the side of the tank and the tank is filled up up to this level. Let us find out what is the area of the bulkhead, what is the thrust on the bulkhead, where does the centroid of this bulkhead lie, right? Accordingly, we'll find out what is the pressure at that point. As we know, the pressure at the geometric centroid multiplied by the area of uh, the bulkhead, that is the wetted area of the bulkhead, will give me the thrust on the bulkhead. Right? We also need to know what is the density of water inside the tank. So let's say the density is 1.025 tons per meter cube. Right? Let's find out the pressure at the geometric centroid and therefore the thrust on the bulkhead. We'll be using rule number 2 for this. Rule number 2 is used when we have the number of ordinates as 3n plus 1 which means that uh, number of ordinates minus 1 which gives number of segments, we have those number of segments divisible by 3. For example, if number of segments are 3, 6, 9, etc., we can use rule number 2. When the number of segments are 3, we use 1, 3, 3, 1 as multipliers. Whereas, if the number of segments are 6, we may use 1, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 1. Same way, if there are 9 segments, then 1, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 1. This is how we go about uh, uh, the rule number two. Here is a, a tank bulkhead, say on one side of the center line. We have the transverse width as four meters, seven meters, nine meters, and eight meters. Now we need to find out the area of this bulkhead. And we want to find out geometric centroid with respect to tank top, because in case we want to find out the pressure, we need to find out what is the depth of geometric centroid from the water level. Water level assuming is up to here. We need to find out where is the position of geometric centroid with respect to the water level. So the table that we make as usual the first column will have the ordinates. The ordinates starting from top because we want the position of centroid with respect to top. Then 8, 9, 7 and 4 become the ordinate. The second column is Simpson's multiplier, which in this case would be 1, 3, 3, 1. Uh, the third column I like to write as YDX, and that is the product of column number 1 and 2. So it becomes 8, 27, 21, and 4. The sum of uh, this column is 60. The next column is the lever lever is x lever is the distance of the ordinate from the first ordinate so what is the distance of first ordinate from first ordinate you would say 0 and likewise h 2h 3h and the last column is yx dx and the product of column number 3 and 4 would be 0 27h 42h and 12h the total 81h now the area of the bulkhead as is projected here is 3h by 8 into sum 1 3h into 60 upon 8 h is equal to 3 so it is 3 into 3 divided by 8 into 60 this is the uniform separation of the ordinate 3 meters so h is equal to 3 so that is 9 into 60, that is 540 divided by 8 gives me 67.5 meter square is the area. We have found the area 
and this being the first ordinate now we will find out the moment of entire area with respect to the first ordinate right and when we have moment of area with respect to the first ordinate if we divide that quantity by area we will get the depth of centroid from the first ordinate so what is the moment of area about the first ordinate so it would be 3h upon 8 into 81h which is 81 into 3 so it becomes 27 into 81 equal to divide by 8 it gives me 273 273.375 meter cube this is the moment of area about the first ordinate and this I am going to divide now with the area 67.5 is the area gives me 4.05 4.050 meter that is the distance of the geometric centroid from the first ordinate if you want to find out what is the pressure at a particular point then what we do is if I want to find out say pressure at geometric centroid it would be the depth that is 4.05 pressure is equal to depth into density density is 1.025 tons per meter square this will be the pressure so 4.0 into 1.025 that gives me 4.151 4.151 tons per meter square but the area of the area of the bulkhead is 67.5 meter square so thrust on the bulkhead is equal to pressure at geometric centroid multiplied by area that is a wetted area so that becomes 1.151 multiplied by 67.5 into 67.5 that gives me 280.2 280.2 tons this is the thrust uh, invariably in physics and engineering we uh, represent uh, these values in the terms of newtons or kilonewtons so 4.15 one tons per meter square pressure at geometric centroid 4.151 tons per meter square it may be multiplied by 9.81 to give you the kilonewton per meter square so 4.151 into 9.81 that gives me 40.71 40.71 kilonewton per meter square and if i multiply this with the area 67.5 that gives me the thrust on the bulkhead equal to 2748 2748 kilometer this is the thrust on the bulkhead so we are able to find out the area that is the side area of a tank one of the bulkheads of the tank which was having one of the sides as curvilinear using uh, the second rule of simpsons because there are four Ordinates and therefore three segments three segments is divisible by three so we are able to use rule number two that is one three three one rule we are able to find out the position of centroid I want to find out the position of centroid with respect to the water level that's why the water level or the eight meter ordinate was taken as the first ordinate right so I automatically got the depth of geometric centroid from the first ordinate now if I want to find out the thrust the first thing is to find out the pressure at geometric centroid pressure at geometric centroid is equal to height multiplied by density and if you want in kilonewton then multiply by 9.81 so we may say that the pressure at geometric centroid is 4.151 tons per meter square or it is 40.71 kilonewton per meter square and then thrust is 280.2 tons or it is also equal to 2748 kilonewtons now we will see the application of rule number three rule number three is 58 minus 1 h by 12 rule this rule is used when uh, there are three ordinates given and we have to find out the area between first and second ordinate or second and third ordinate say uh, uh, let us say uh, this is the uh, uh, let us say this is the live boat sail and uh, the height of the sail is uh, say 12 meters base here is 4 meters over here it is 0 and at mid height 
the uh, width is say 5 meters. It is desired to you know paint this area and to paint this area uh, you need to indent paint so you want to ask for a certain quantity of paint how much paint will be applied here. So the basic thing is to find out the area of the sail say this one has to be painted red and this one has to be painted yellow. So you want to find out what are the areas involved. So let us see uh, uh, if you want to find out this particular area that is between these two ordinates then this would be the first ordinate and if you want to find out this particular area then this would be the first ordinate and this would be the second ordinate. So uh, let us say uh, first I will find out how much a yellow area is. So when I write the ordinates it will be 4, 5 and 0. These are the ordinate column number 1. The Simpsons multiplier are 5, 8, minus 1. The product for the area that is column number 3 I like to write as y dx will be 20, 40, 0. The sum will be 60. In case I want to find out uh, the area between the 4 meter and 5 meter ordinate. If I want to find out the area between the uh, first two ordinate that is 0 and 5 meter ordinate what I do is I uh, make another table probably and then I write them in this order 0, 5 and 4 because I want to find out the area between these two ordinates. Simpsons multiply 5, 8, minus 1. The product 0 of 40 minus 4 and the total will be 35. In both these cases the value of h is equal to 6. So the area over here will be h by 12 into some 1 that is 60 that is 6 by 12 into 60 that is 30 meter square. So this area is 30 meter square. To find out the other area the formula is same h by 12 into sum that is 36 so it will be 18 meter square. So this area is 18 meter square and this area is 30 meter square. This is how we are able to find out the area between the first and second ordinate or second and third ordinate. Like in this particular case is 30 meter square, 18 meter square. So this is the application of uh, rule number 3. We will do one more application of rule number 3 whereby we will be able to find out what is the centroid. As I said, if the lines are given, we are able to find out the area and if the area itself is given, we are able to find out the volume. So let us say uh, there is a tank on uh, one side of the center line and the surface areas at the three levels are as follows. There is a tank 6 meters in height and the base area of the tank that is this area is say for example uh, 48 meters square. This particular area is say 36 meters square and this one is say 14 meters square. So the question may read like this. There is a tank which is to the starboard of center line and lies between the center line and the ship's hull. The tank is 6 meters in height and the base area is 48 meters square. When the water is filled up to a height of 3 meters, the water area is 36 meters square. And when the tank is full, the water area is 14 meters square. It is required to find out the volume of the tank, right? When the soundings are 3 meters and at the same time, you also have to find out where is the geometric centroid of that volume of water from the base of the tank. So let's uh, uh, understand here that when three areas are given at equidistant uh, interval then we may use the Simpson's rules to find out the intermediate area etc. Same as if the lines were given and we had to find out the area. So in, the, in making of the table the first ordinate that would be written is 48 meters square then 36 meters square and then 14 meters square. This I will write as y. Simpson's multiplier will be 5, 8, 
minus 1 and the product over here is 240, 288 and minus 14. The sum would be 514 I suppose. So the volume of the tank will be uh, H by 12 into someone that is 514 meter cube or it would be 3 upon 12 into 514 that is 514 divided by 4 that gives me 128.5 128.5 meter cube is the volume of the tank if the sounding is 3 meters now to find out where is the centroid of this mass I will write another set of Simpson's multiplier here and that is 3, 10 and minus 1. When I multiply uh, using this Simpson's multiplier, I get 144 here, 360 here and minus 14. So that gives me 490. The moment of this volume about the base of the tank will be given by h square upon 24 into sum 490. So that is 9 upon 24 that is 9 into 490 equal to divided by 24. That gives me 183.75. 183.75. So the distance of geometric centroid. Now I have found out this volume of water that is 128.5 meters cube and then now what is the moment of this volume about the base that I have found as 183.75? Moment divided by the volume will give me the position of the geometric centroid of this mass of water and therefore the geometric or therefore centroid from the base will be given by 183.75 divided by 128.5. So that is 183.75 divide by 128.5 that gives me 1.429 or 1.43 1.43 meters that is the position of centroid from the bottom so this was the application of uh, rule number three this also demonstrated that if you are given the ordinates as area you are able to find out the volume and you also found out uh, uh, using a special uh, set of Simpson's multiplier the moment of area in case of rule number three so we were able to find out with the 310 minus 1 h square by 24 rule the moment of the area or moment of volume about the first ordinate so in case of third rule if you simply want to apply the Simpson's third rule the uh, figures to remember is 58 minus 1 h by 12 and in case you want to find out the moment about the first ordinate, then the figures to remember are 310 minus 1 h square by 24.